Jaya Jaya, hey beautiful beings, hope you are having an amazing day. Today I want to show you a couple of things that we are doing here with Tara. See that she's right there in the middle of <laughs> her delicious yoga practice, stretching yeah. herself, building some muscle. And uh, right here I have my drum. And uh, the reason why I want to show you this is because um, synchronizing our practices doesn't mean that we are both doing the same. You know, it can be we're both doing yoga, we are doing the same sequences, the same practice. So she's doing a sequence and then I'm doing my sequence, uh, which might be maybe more dynamic or a different set of things. And then um, but the other thing that I can do is have a completely different practice. And both practices are devotional, both practices are spiritual practices, but we are both doing a, you know, our own thing. And uh, sometimes when you have... Um, you know, kirtan or bhakti that is being played, then you will have musicians and then you will have dancers and maybe in the background somebody is doing some yoga poses. And the whole thing creates some form of resonance and synchronicity within that space. So I just wanted to show you that because sometimes we have the feeling that to synchronize our practices, we really need to be doing the same practice at the same time. And that's not true at all. You know, there are lots of different things that are going to activate different aspects of the spirit. And uh, sometimes, of course, face-to-face, -face, doing maybe intimate practices, maybe breathing together, will really create a, um, a bodily and an energetic full resonance. And sometimes just being in the same space, doing our own practices is going to have a similar kind of impact, not with the same synergy or the same synchronicity, but something along the same line. So I'm just going to drum a little bit. That way you can have a direct experience of what happens here. Hi, Tara. Hey, gorgeous. How's your practice this morning? Oh, so good to see you. Feels stretch. good? She 
the mantras that I'm singing right now are tantric coupling, right, practices. So when you think of tantric coupling, you imagine that, you know, it has to be intimate, maybe sexual practices, and it's not true at all. It's like you see that right now we're creating a field of resonance where we are anchoring an energy as a couple and at the same time, you know, building this field of resonance through devotional practice. And so what we are doing right now is really an active, dynamic prayer meditation. And there's lots of spaciousness in it. You see that it's not discipline. It's not uh, rigid in the discipline in the way you would think. You know, it's not like you have to sit down and follow a specific sequence. It's like we are just doing life in a devotional way, right? And uh, it feels amazing. And uh, of course, you know, with the drumming, I can keep on do, going on for an hour. Maybe I will pause for a second, make some juices in the kitchen, play some music, maybe, uh, yeah, film some video right now for you guys. And uh, you see that um, all that is part of the, uh, the tantric, tantric coupling flow. Hope you enjoy that. How is it feeling there, Tara? <laughs> really good. Do you have anything to say about what I just shared? Anything you want to add? I love it. It's like a balance of um, sovereignty and and connection at the same time. Yeah, exactly. They both complement it really well. I love stretching to your drumming, babe. You love stretching to my drumming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's me in a meditative state. Yeah, yeah. We'll post some more videos soon. Yeah. Bye. We love you. Bye. <laughs> yeah.